and its chairman, Adam Schiff, is removed. Oh, into the void swoop Senator Lindsey Graham. He's invited Giuliani to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee about possible corruption in Ukraine. So is Giuliani going to accept this offer? Back with now, Rudy Giuliani, Joe DeGeneva. Rudy, you're going to testify in the Senate. I have to weigh that with my client and the other lawyers involved. It's not a, it's not a unitary decision. What decision I made may affect the other decisions. I mean, I would love to testify and give me a half hour to point out Biden, Inc., uh, four decades of crime. I'd love to do it. I mean, it's going to be easier than pointing out the, what was it, six decades of mafia crime or Milken and Bosky. What was, uh, what was going on with Perry? Everybody's all upset about Nothing, that tonight. You and Rick Perry. Perry. Rick Energy Perry's Department. done nothing wrong. I mean, he's worked, he works for Donald he Trump. He was at the inauguration of <gasps> Zelensky. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. He was there. And, and Senator Chris Murphy went and told Zelensky he better not cooperate with me. And a couple of other senators co called him to don't cooperate with Barr. And nobody cares about but that. But did you debrief him after the not, trip not gonna, or before the gonna, trip? I'm not going to tell you my internal conversations. I talk to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily Rick, though. Um, Rudy, uh, Cory Booker is someone who also is chomping at the bit to question you during the hearing. This, Spartacus! This is what he said. I've never been, I've never been in the arena. Spartacus. I would savor the opportunity. Uh, I would. And, and especially if it's done publicly. Uh, and I know uh, Rudy Giuliani is you know, from New York, very close to Broadway. He loves the theatrics. His behavior has been despicable. Uh, and the lies and the half-truths. Uh, uh, and the deception that he's been uh, doing at the direction of this president and beyond uh, is unbecoming. Unbecoming, despicable, just garden variety insults, Rudy. Uh, from Sp I gotta go. I have to go in the arena with Spartacus. Gee, I don't know if I can handle it. I mean, he's a really tough guy. I don't know. Man, he really scares me. I mean, the guy was a terrible mayor. I, mean, I was a mayor of a city. I turned it around. He was a mayor of a city, and they had more crime when he left than when he came in. Newark's doing great, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Newark's doing fabulous. Here's what I uh, look up to Cory Booker. Everyone's a tough guy out there, right? They're all tough oh, guys. Like, Corey's going to take them and punch them. Biden's going to take them. Biden's Spartacus. By the way, Biden's been mm -hmm. off the trail for, th you know, since what, what Friday? You never see Biden. What a clown. All right. Uh, did you see Biden today? He completely f lost it today. He completely lost it today. He started yelling at a reporter. First, it looked like Not he was today. sleeping. Absolutely. It was today, I think, in Las Vegas. Mm. All right, gentlemen. Maybe here's yesterday? what sources told the Washington Examiner's Byron York about the whistleblower. Quote, the IG said the whistleblower had a professional relationship with one of the 2020 candidates. Okay, Joe, this turns out to be true. Doesn't, you know, isn't the Democrats keeping his or her identity Aren't secret just a here's, total joke? Well, th this is why this notion that you're going to keep these witnesses secret while you were trying to nullify an election, yeah, exactly. commit regicide, and remove a president of the United States is ludicrous. Um, everybody knows that in all likelihood, Fusion GPS was involved with this a person, this, uh, this anonymous informant. I refuse to call him a whistleblower because he is not a whistleblower under the law. Um, and everybody knows that there's a former FBI agent work, who worked with this whistleblower. Uh, as he's now called. So we're going to learn an awful lot about the fact that this person never wrote this document. It was drafted by a committee of political consultants and researchers and people affiliated with the Democratic National Committee. Well, Adam Schiff should not be running this, uh, this, the, oh, these committees. He lied about contact with this whistleblower. Well, he's a witness. On national television. He just lied. Adam Schiff is a witness. You can't, you can't preside over a hearing where you're a witness. No. Also, how... How could it be possible that we can't test the credibility of these witnesses? Just, I mean, you can't, you can't come to a conclusion unless you get a chance to test credibility. For, for example, this law firm, Compos, Stompos, or whatever the name of it is, was offering money to people. They were offering help with your mortgage, expenses. They were that bribing the witnesses knives. to come forward. <laughs> you don't think I'd want to cross-examine the witness with that? Did you, read the, did you read it? Did you get any money? Did they offer you any money? Did you see Schiff? What did Schiff tell you? How, how much, how much of this comes from Schiff? These whistleblower laws Schiff? have to be changed, though, right? They have to be. They, they, this, this can't happen again. Wait, wait. But this whistleblower hold on, hold on. Let, to let, a trial. Here's, okay. here, here's the deal. This inspector general is a moron. <laughs> when he wrote that analysis, he was wrong about the law. This was not a matter of grave concern, urgent concern. He got slapped down so badly 
by the Office of Legal Counsel when they analyzed the facts. This guy, Michael Atkinson, is a moron. Just, there's no way around how bad a job he did. And he's, he's, he's an embarrassment to the Inspector General cadre. Well, and now we know that there is a 2020 connection. 2020 Democrat connection to this whistleblower. And by the way, someone tried to criticize or question Byron York's reporting tonight. Uh, and even, I believe it was at Axios, who said, no, 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 it, w it, it was just fine. He's right on. Byron York is spot on. It's reporting about this. Well, so we're going to learn a lot more. And, and it's going to get worse. Yeah. Well, today, Rudy, the State Department ordered Gordon Sondland, the EU ambassador involved in some of those Ukraine texts, not to appear for his deposition with House investigators, which, of course, it kind of makes sense, given Cipollone's letter, right? Which, of course, is drawing the ire of Schiff. Watch. The failure to produce this witness... The failure to produce these documents, um, we consider yet additional strong evidence of obstruction of the constitutional functions of Congress, a co-equal branch of government. Okay, Rudy, <laughs> again, if you assert a privilege, if you assert a privilege, You're executive right. privilege, attorney-client privilege, deliberative process privilege, you are guilty of obstruction of justice. So there's, there's no winning in this scenario. I would like to, I'd just like to explain to Little Schiff that propounding and, pro, and presenting a false, completely false narrative of someone's guilt is called obstructing justice. He did it. He did it right in front of the American people. He did it for about 20 minutes. He did a total fictitious claim against and he did it again earlier when he said he had evidence of Russian collusion. Hey, Schiff, where's your evidence? And they're by the You're way. You're a liar. I'm calling you out as a liar. You're a liar. And by the where's way, where's your evidence, Schiff? They're hitting Sunland, by the way. Because Joe. you're a liar. They're hitting Sunland, Ambassador Sunland, because he was a big donor to Trump. And I'm thinking, does anyone remember what Obama's donors were? Okay. And, uh, Obama's donors? I mean, there was headline after headline complaining. I have to put one up on the screen. But Obama's uh, big, uh, that's, that's just what it is, an ambassador, yes. uh, unless you're a career, a career yeah, diplomat, listen. Obama hands out plum ambassador post to big campaign if, donors. If, so stop, stop going after Sunland because he was a donor. If, if, if it weren't for double standards, Democrats would have no standards at all. I mean, this is just, this is just insanity. Just watching them get, well, that, that tape of, of Schiff, just <laughs> watching him bug-eyed, performing like a loon, and just mouthing these nostrums, which are just just dumb and stupid and unsupportable legally. I mean, this is the chairman of a major committee, and Pelosi, you know, trying to keep her dentures. In.